Hello, this video is in response to the challenge posed by Big Josh on YouTube. The challenge was to light up an LED using only an inductor, the LED and an AVR. Here is the schematic of a typical boost converter. Here is the switch that turns on and off to charge and collapse the magnetic field of the inductor. You could use a regular transistor or the transistor inside the AVR to do the switching. The problem is that the voltage over here will be higher than VCC. This is a problem because the pins on an AVR have internal clamping diodes, so the voltage will never exceed VCC. The solution here is to use the reset pin. The reset pin is allowed to have a voltage up to 13 volts. You can change the reset pin to a regular I.O. by changing the fuses. Here we have the breadboard, with on the right the inductor of 40 mA, then an LED, it's a blue LED, and because I didn't have an LED with a high enough voltage voltage, I added a regular signal diode in series with it. Next to it is an AT tiny 13 a on an adapter board, and a CR2032 battery. First, let's measure the voltage from the battery. The battery is 2.6 volts. Let's test the diode to see if it's lighting with this voltage. As you can see, it's barely lighting up. Now let's reconfigure everything to create a boost converter. Power and ground to the AT Tiny. One side of the inductor goes to VCC, the other goes to the reset pin, which has been reassigned as a digital input output. The plus side goes to the same pin and the ground, the negative of the LED goes to ground. As you can see, the LED is lighting up. Now let's measure the voltage across the battery, because at load the battery will be lower. As you can see, the battery is currently only 1.5 volt, 1.6. Finally, here's the schematic of the circuit. Thank you for watching.